Hi, this is Ron Martz at ronmartblog.com. And today I'm going to show you um, the difference between Lightroom, and this is version 4.4, and QImage version 2013.120, and how we would go about um, printing out uh, just simple 4x6 prints of uh, these three images. Um, you can scale this however you want to do it, but this just demonstrates the points really quickly and easily. Now, what I'd like is my wife has said, hey, I want three 4x6 prints of these images. Can you just do this for me real quick? Okay, sure, honey, no problem. And so how would I do that? Hmm. There's these picture packages. No, custom packages. Hmm, what's that? Is there anything over here? Mm, yeah, it's not really what I want. Huh, what else do we have? 4x5 contact. No, well, it's kind of close, but it's not really the right size here. They're actually 1.88 inches. Huh. Okay, well, I'll just create one myself. Shouldn't be that hard, right? 4x6. Okay. I've got some rows, so yeah, okay. Give me another row. Hmm, looking good. Let's just add the third one, we're in business. Ah, wait, what happened? Now my prints are 6 by 3.4. Huh, that's not what I want. Okay, well maybe I just made a simple mistake. Let's go back and just put it on two columns, right? Wait a second, now they're square. That's not what I want. I've got rotate to fit. What's going on here? Zoom to fill. Now they look small, huh? That's not what I want. And this is the problem we have with Lightroom. It sounds good at first, but when you try to do um, anything beyond what it's got preset up for you, it gets to be a real pain real quick. And God forbid you should decide you want, you know, on this one page, um, two of the same image and just one of another. It will drive you mad trying to get that to work in here. So let's go over to QImage. In QImage, loads things up from the disk. Um, you can have all your stuff put in a simple directory if you want to make things easier for you. But let's just say, okay, I want to do four by six of this one. Let's just close that and get out of my way. Say I want to four by six of this one and I want a four by six of this one that wasn't so hard was it you know and I can even go so crazy and say you know what what I really want is I want two of this one okay no problem and you know, whatever we want we can do it um, you know say we changed our mind oops changed our mind and decided we wanted three by fives Okay, give me some three by five action here. Okay, let's add another one here, another one here, and let's do another one here. Wow, look at that, it's just figuring it all out. Taking advantage of the paper. And these are all uh, three by five prints. You can see in the little tool tip, they're all three by fives. So that's what I love about this program is that it'll take it, maximize the use of the paper and give us exactly what we're asking um, without all the hassle and trouble that we get from um, Lightroom. So um, let's clear that out for a moment. And then let's say, you know what? Um, I want to provide a little bit of uh, adjustments to this before I print it out. And so there's this photo editing tool that you can do pretty much what you can do in the develop tab. I mean, auto exposure, you know, blemishes like the healing brush and you know, all sorts of good stuff. Here levels, curves, whatever. But one of the things I'm gonna focus right now on is the sharpening. And there's this new deep focus sharpening um, but I'm going to just focus right now on the old USM sharpening because since that's what you're going to get inside Photoshop or Lightroom uh, by default. So you'll notice here I got this text um, as a little preview for my sharpening. 
And then I'm going to go and say, let's kick this up to 10. And let's say 150. This is just to illustrate my point here. Holy mackerel. Look at the halos we're getting on this thing. It's really bad. And so to correct that, I could turn down my sharpening. You know, I can go down to maybe 100. Okay, that helped, but they're still there. So let's kick it back up here to 150. So you can see it really well again. Now, new and the latest release here, I can use this deep focus sharpening and it maintains the same level of sharpening without the halos. So when I hit OK here, this is a big raw file, so it takes a few seconds. I've got all my sharpening um, without any artifacts. So now this is probably more sharpening than I want uh, for this image, but you can see that um, I've got a massive amount of sharpening without really um, any bad haloing or problems that we would get if we used USM sharpening. Um, so really cool feature. There's also this feature over here called uh, DFS tone mapping um, where you can come in and do things like say sharpen everything except for maybe that blue in there or everything uh, only sharpen one color or whatever. Um, it's a pretty cool feature that I encourage you to try out. So. If that's how you want to um, you know, create some special print sharpening just for one image or do something specific to um, QImage that's not going to impact your actual file, so I come in here and say done, it's going to apply a, what's called a filter and associate it with this file, but it's not actually going to change the file any. So that way, when I go and print, it takes a few seconds here, when I go to print, it's going to have all that uh, sharpening applied. This is um, a scaled image, so don't worry about the noise you see on that. Um, generally, when it prints, it looks good. So I come in here. I got my 3x5s. Uh, actually, I want to do 4x6s again. So I'll say 4x6. Close that guy up. And then, boom. Boom. My three 4x6s. And then I'm ready to print. Just come up here, I can hit print, and I'm done. So really cool product, easy, super easy layout, which is what I really love about it. If you still want to go print in Photoshop or some other product, you could uh, save this out as a PDF and then print from there. There's a lot of uh, great um, low-level printing support in this product, uh, so it'll do a great job uh, right from here. Only uh, thing worth noting, this is a uh, PC only, there's no Mac version, and um, there's a discount on my blog. So if you think you're interested, go to my blog, check it out, and get a discount. Thank you for joining me. Bye.